Welcome to Cooking Like Ramos. My name's Pedro, this is Penny, and today we're going to be cooking... Piri Piri Chicken! Piri Piri Chicken. So I'm going to make the most amazing, the most succulent, delicious Piri Piri Chicken. Um, Penny, is there anything you need to add? Subscribe guys and give a huge thumbs up. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to make a peri peri sauce. So what I've got here is some parsley, some garlic, two bird's eye chilies, a finger chilli, scotch bonnet chilli. I've got some oregano, some smoked paprika, but you can use sweet paprika, coarse salt, some white wine or some cider vinegar, olive oil, some concentrated hot sauce, some butter, and that's it. So I'm just going to show you how to prepare the chilies. First of all, the scotch bonnet, we're going to remove the seeds. We want, we want a lot of heat in this dish, but you don't want to overpower it with just heat. So you're just going to have, just going to remove these um, seeds here. That's the, the hottest part of the chili is always the seeds. So if you remove that, you will make it slightly milder. Remove the ends and discard them to the side. Make sure you're always washing your hands when you're dealing with chilies. Just cut them up a little bit. And then you want to pop them in here. Now, you can throw the garlic. Just give them a little cut just to help the blender out. Into here like so and actually try and get it in. The bird's eye, we're gonna go straight in with the whole thing. That's the only chili that I'm gonna do that with. So, whole chili, seeds in, just take, remove the end, pop it straight into here, into the blender. There you go. That's gonna give it some real good heat. Then you've got the finger chili, a bit longer. Again, you wanna try and cut that down the middle. Okay, pop it like this to the side, watch your fingers. Use the end of your knife, remove those. There you go. If you put put your hand on one side and just push it across, it'll come off. Give that a little cut. Chuck them in here, like so. Go straight in with your parsley. I'm gonna zoom the camera out slightly so you can see. We're gonna go in with some paprika. You want roughly a teaspoon, straight in there. Maybe a little bit more. You want roughly a little, just, just over half a teaspoon of oregano, straight in there. You want a tiny pinch of salt because you are going to season the chicken first. Just a little bit. You want now a teaspoon of white wine vinegar or cider vinegar. Okay. Oil. You're going to go in with roughly around six tablespoons of olive oil. Just one more for luck. I think that was seven. Now, the concentrated hot sauce, I'm going to go in with a tablespoon. Okay. Beautiful. Right. Pop that on here. Now, let's get ready to blend. So the sauce is ready, just going to go in for a quick smell, oh, smells amazing, I'll bring it close to you so you can see what it looks like, but just look at that, that beautiful sort of orange red colour, it's going to be so freaking spicy but it's going to be amazing, I'm going to go in for a little, for a little taste, 
that's definitely really really hot so for the faint-hearted i would not recommend it but if you want something that's absolutely amazing this is the true puri puri sauce this is the real deal give it a try so the next stage of what i like to do is essentially i like to heat up the sauce a little bit spoon of butter the reason is is because it's gonna help get into that chicken as it cooks okay so just cook that for a minute let that melt and then we're going to be ready so it's nearly melted just going to give that a good mix if you haven't got one of these make sure you get one once the butter's all melted you want to squeeze that lemon baby so at this stage i'm going to be showing you guys how to spatchcock the chicken <laughs> So lie the chicken on the back, get a really sharp knife, cut the chicken down the middle through the breastplate, and then use your hands to open it up like so. It's really important to remove any excess skin. This is going to help minimize the amount of flames on the barbecue to help cook it properly so it doesn't burn. Now at this stage, you want to start cutting incisions into the legs, the thighs and the breast. Make sure on the breast you don't go too deep. Cutting incisions into the chicken will help the sauce get into the chicken and give it that fantastic flavour and actually soak into the meat. This bit's optional. I like to cut the tips of the wings away, but don't throw them in the bin. Freeze them and then you can use them at a later date for things like stock. Now we're going to be showing you how to actually cook the chicken on the barbecue. So get your rock salt or your sea salt and make sure you're seasoning the chicken extremely well. You don't need black pepper because you've got the heat from the chilies. Uh, and make sure you get the salt in right into the middle of those incisions. And also season the back as well because that will help um, intensify the flavours of the chicken. Having a barbecue grilling basket is super useful for spatchcock chicken. It makes it really easy to turn the chicken so it cooks evenly. And very importantly, it helps the chicken not stick to the barbecue. Make sure you've got your hot barbecue going and then place the chicken skin down for four to five minutes. Once it's been around four minutes, you want to start adding the sauce. This is how you're going to make the flavour of the chicken be unbelievable. Every time you turn the chicken around, add the sauce, right till the end. When you cook spatchcock chicken like this on the barbecue, you want the meat to go slightly dry because when you add the sauce, it really bonds well with the meat and that's what gives it its amazing flavor and its amazing juiciness. been around 40 to 45 minutes your chicken's nearly ready make sure it cooks right through to the bone make sure you leave the chicken to rest for at least 5 to 10 minutes
So now you want to cut right down the middle with some scissors and then you want to go diagonally between the breast and the leg and it should come right off. Repeat this again on the other side and then present it nicely for your guests and there we go. So, um, my Piri Piri chicken is done. I've cut it up with the scissors, as you've seen. Um, I'm gonna enjoy a super box stout, which is a Portuguese stout. It's absolutely amazing, it's delicious. Um, I'm gonna go in for a bite as well. Um, I'm gonna need the drink because it's gonna be really, really spicy, um, so wish me luck. Um, as you can tell, the meat is charred. That's exactly what you want. That's what the barbecue does. Gives it a real nice darkness and the sauce just kind of caramel caramelizes. Um, but it's absolutely delicious. You can see where there's little chunks of chili in there, and that's just going to give little little uh, little bits of heat every now and again. But this is going to be delicious. I'm going to go in for a bite. It's so juicy. It's crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's absolutely delicious still really hot it tastes absolutely amazing really really juicy it's really really spicy but not like blow your, your head away I mean I quite like spicy food so my um, I might be used to it more than the average person but it's still like a good amount of heat I've got myself some paper now to wipe my hands. But yeah, you want to go and use your hands. That's that's how you eat it. That's how we eat it back at home in Portugal. You use your hands to eat the chicken. If, I don't know if the camera can focus. Look at how juicy that meat is. That is literally perfectly cooked. It tastes absolutely amazing. The flavour is unbelievable. You have to try this dish. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because there's more of this coming and you're going to want to make these foods, believe me, especially with the summer coming up. Enjoy. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Sud.